And, and you think that Democrats can still try some things to, to, to switch minds at the, at the, uh, towards the end here? I, I think that uh, August was not a good month for Democrats. Um, they kind of took their eye off the economic ball. I thought you saw some slippage. You were always going to see these polls close. You're always going to see these races getting closer. But I don't think the Democratic Party in many of these areas really responded the way they should. I think they're responding now. Is that going to be too little too late? We're seeing the polls stabilize and actually trend a little bit back to Democrats. We could have, I, I don't know enough about the House to speak to that, but we could have a Senate that would be decided by less than 25,000 votes. So right now, I would say the Senate's 50-50. Democrats are focused on Pennsylvania. They're focused on Georgia. Uh, they're focused on Arizona and Nevada. And then potential pickups in states like Ohio, North Carolina, and maybe even Florida. But those are long shots. And so I would tell you last week, the trend was very bad for Democrats. I think we've cauterized the wound. I think we're coming back. The question is, is it going to be too little too late? Judd, what, what, how do you view things right now? Wound, unfortunately, because the Democrats chose to run on two issues, Trump and abortion. Republicans were running on safety and pocketbook issues. And, uh, you know, James Carville got it right a long time ago. He said, it's the economy, stupid, especially in difficult times. And it is the economy. People are very concerned about the economy. They're also concerned about the direction of the nation. They're concerned about their safety. They're concerned about their schools. It's not a good time to be an incumbent, to be very honest with you. To be an, an incumbent. Judd, an incumbent or an incumbent party. Let's look at some different uh, scenarios. If it's a... Um, I'll start with if it's a Democratic Senate and a, and a Republican House. What do you see? What, what type? What do you see happening? What laws stay? What uh, do any go? Are there any new ones that that have happened in the next two years, Judd? Well, that's an interesting issue. First, you have to say how high, how large is the majority going to be of the Democrats in the Senate? Let's say they get 51 votes, uh, then they could actually end the filibuster and they could move on things that they think are important, like making the District of Columbia a state. Uh, if the House, on the other hand, goes Republican and uh, McCarthy doesn't have more than 20 votes uh, to work with, he's got problems because a very, there's a very hardcore element in the House which isn't there to govern. They're there to shout. And so both, both chambers are going to be very fluid in the, way they, in the way they act. But historically, when you have divided government and you have a president who understands how to govern, uh, you usually get compromise. That's what happened. Uh, and you get governance, quite honestly. You know, I mean, almost all issues we confront today are very complex and they require some sort of compromise. And you saw that under Obama. You saw it under Bush. Uh, and I think Biden could work if, that Judd, way because he's experienced with it. Yes. What if, the, what if it's a, a, a red sweep and, <laughs> and you get a, a, a Senate that, let's say, 52, 48 Republican and then a bigger margin in the House? What would Republicans... They, they'd be catching the bus, the dog catching the bus. What would they, what would they do with it? Well, I would think that, I would hope that they'd want to try to govern constructively on issues that bother people. Uh, for example, immigration would be a perfect place to start. That's something you could actually get done. And I think you could actually bring the administration in with a rational uh, policy. And, and I also think that they would uh, put an end to this very, very aggressive leftward drift that the Democratic Party has gone towards, and uh, hopefully uh, the Democratic Party realize that being led by Bernie Sanders hasn't been a good idea. All right, Heidi. What? Let's t take that the, the, that second scenario. What if what if the uh, the Republicans control both the the Senate and the House? What What do you think uh, we'd be in for? Well, I think that it's going to be a lot of investigating Biden. There's going to be a lot of message points. Um, if, if they take over, that will mean a victory for Donald Trump. And the practices that we've seen over the last you know, six years will continue. There are very good people on, on the Republican side who want to get things done. The question is, well, their radical side drowned out that effort to do things like Judd said about immigration reform. I think the more interesting question is, if the Dem Republicans take over both chambers, what happens in the lame duck? It's going to be a wild time. I'm trying to get some agenda items passed in the next
next uh, before the Congress turns over. And so there's going to be a lot of um, soul searching, I think, on both sides. There's going to be a lot of discussion about what can we get done, uh, a lot of goodwill in the beginning, and it's going to be overtaken by presidential politics in 2024. I've always said there's too many senators who get up in the morning, look in the mirror, and they don't see a United States senator. They see a future president. And so there's going to be a lot of messaging, probably on both sides, and that's not good for governing this country. And how long before we start talking about 2024? Heidi, like uh, um, November The day 9th? after the election, Joe. You, <laughs> how long before? We were already talking about it in New Hampshire. I mean, we have Democratic candidates coming in with some, and Republican candidates coming in fairly regularly in New Hampshire now, and they're not there be good guys or good women supporting some candidate in New Hampshire. They're there to give themselves some visibility in an early primary state. 